We're in uh, Las Cruces today. Uh, we had, or Katrina had four days off, but everybody was sick. Yeah. So we didn't do anything for three days. Uh, but on the last day, we got a hike planned. And also, if we have time, we'll go to the park. You wanna go to the park? But uh, we left the house without eating. We're hungry, so we came to... Everybody cheese. ate, except for me. Okay, well, I had cereal, I guess. They're on their second breakfast. All right, let's get to eat. <laughs> After subscribing to our channel, don't forget to hit that like button, leave us a comment, and click that bell so you get reminded every time we upload a new video. Today we're doing a hike at what's called the Tortugas Mountain, which is Turtle Mountain. And the reason it's called Turtle Mountain is because coming from the south, the mountain looks like it's a turtle walking across the desert. Let me know your opinion. What do you think? Does it look like one? Katrina had to tell me that the head was in the front and the hump in the back. I was looking at it from the back. Once she told me, well, the head's in the front, hump's in the back, then I could perfectly see the, the shape of it. But it's also called A Mountain, the letter A. And the reasoning behind that is because, as you see, there's a letter A on the mountain. And that A is for Aggies. So the New Mexico State University is here in Las Cruces. And their mascot is the Aggies. So that's what the A is for. I'm on baby carrying duty today. Carrying an umbrella so Luca doesn't get burnt. There's no covering out here whatsoever. Uh, but it'll be, it'll be a nice day, I guess. The Tortugas Mountain Observatory is equipped with a 1967 Boiler and Chivins 24-inch reflector telescope. For decades, the observatory was used primarily for imaging and monitoring of planetary targets such as Jupiter. Throughout southern New Mexico and Texas, you will find a lot of monuments dedicated to the Virgen de Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe holds a special place in Mexican religious culture. Her image has played an important role as a national symbol of Mexico. The Oregon Mountains are located in Las Cruces, New Mexico and are part of the Chihuahuan Desert Floor. They are obviously named Oregon Mountains as the top of the ridgeline resembles organ pipes. Oregon Needle, with an elevation of 8,990 feet, is the high point of the organs. Although they are largely inaccessible, they have been climbed over the years. Well, we made it to the top, as you can see. Uh, Katrina had to turn around halfway through because uh, Gianna just was cranky as heck. So unfortunately, she couldn't make it uh, up to the top. But uh, we're at the top, and we're about to start heading our uh, descent back down. Does that even make sense? Descend back down? Oh, well. So after our hike today, we came to a uh, park uh, here in Las Cruces. Uh, and it's pretty funny and ironic that the park is named La Llorona Park. So in the Hispanic community, uh, La Llorona, or in English, La Llorona is a crying woman or a weeping woman. Uh, and in the Hispanic community, uh, it's a ghost story that is usually told to kids. Uh, and each, each different country has a different version of the story. Uh, but what was told to us when we were kids was uh, at night La Llorona would come out and you can hear her walk in the streets and you can hear her crying because she was losing, uh, looking for her kids. And depending on where you're from, she either lost her kids or she killed her kids, one of the two. Um, but it's a story that was told to kids to make sure that they behaved good. Or for us, our case was if we didn't go to bed and were awake at night, La Llorona would come and, and get you and take you as her kids. So it's pretty, uh, pretty ironic and funny that a children's park is named La Llorona Park. Yeah. So Katrina never heard the story until I told her about it today. And what did you say about it? 
to shut my kids up. <laughs> They'd always be crawling into bed with us like they do anyway. Yeah. So why don't you tell us what you think of the story? Is it uh, is it appropriate to tell your kids that story? Uh, have you ever heard of it? Um, and what do you think about a children's park being named after her? That hike was not so nice. Did you already talk about that? Um, not really, no. I guess we can do an after action report on the... <laughs> On the hike. Well, we got like probably 50 feet from the top and Gianna <laughs> needed to go down. So it's another hike that I didn't get to do. But yeah, I drove through, uh, I drove through El Paso in um, 2009 hey. when I was going from Camp Lejeune to Pendleton. And I stopped for one night, but I remember driving and seeing the interstate that it was decorated with, uh, with kind of like Mexican designs and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. This, this must be a pretty city. Uh, and here we are 14 years later uh, when we had the chance to come this way. I was very excited, but um, I, I like the city. It's very nice. Uh, a lot, a lot of outdoor activities to do. Uh, hikes, enough hikes to fill your heart. It's a pretty clean area, I feel like. But yeah. Mm. Yeah, hopefully we're just waiting to find out if we're going to extend or uh, if we got to find a new job. Right now, uh, I don't even know what, because you've done all the applying. So what opportunities do we have right now? <laughs> well, the travel nursing landscape is nowhere near what it was <laughs> when we were leaving Corpus Christi. It's a drought. Yeah. We were, yeah. while we were in Corpus Christi, we were probably submitting two, maybe three contracts a day for like two weeks until we got accepted to Las Cruces. Uh, and there were, there were, there were a lot of options uh, all over the US. Now it's a lot different now. Um, we're probably submitting one contract every two days. Um, I think we've submitted five in the past week or so and all of them but one are not available anymore and the only one that's available is in Johnson City, Tennessee. I'm not gonna sing over here. <laughs> She's been singing some song about, who is it, Johnny Cash? Oh uh, no, it's by Darius Rucker. Oh, yeah. We've also requested to Shayla extend... Shayla would like to come to Johnson City. Oh, baby. We've also requested oh. to extend in Las Cruces and we haven't heard anything back. Stop. He doesn't get mad very often. But... Oh, yeah, our preference is to stay here because I'm already trained and there's so much to do here. And uh, in the Southwest, anyway, we haven't made it to Mexico. Hopefully we can. For our next outing, we took a trip to the White Sands National Park. But prior to arriving, we made a quick stop at the White Sands Missile Range for some gas, the only gas station between Las Cruces and the park. Luckily, being retired, I have access to the base or we would have ran out of gas. There is an outdoor missile museum on the base which is accessible by the public. We didn't make time to see it. With White Sands National Park, being a national park, I can only show you pictures since I didn't have a permit to video. We didn't have the time to go to all the sites at the park, but we were still very impressed with what we saw. This is a definite stop and kids love the sand and rolling around in it.
While doing research on things to do in El Paso, I came across a hike on a mountain called Mount Cristo Rey. When I saw it online, I knew that I wanted to do it. While Katrina was at an event in Las Vegas, I was able to find a babysitter while I went on the hike. Mount Cristo Rey is an interesting hike as some of the mountain lays on the Mexico side and the other on the U.S. side. Online, you will find a lot of posts stating for one, not to do it alone, but in a group instead. I read that about a decade ago, a group of people were kidnapped, but there hasn't been too many incidents since then. The locals have told me there are a lot of thefts and car break-ins in the parking area. Since this was Easter weekend and it was highly recommended to wait until then to hike it, I was expecting there to be a large number of people. As you'll see, there was, and there was even security there too. As you saw, I arrived at the parking lot and it's uh, they got parking guides and at least 100, 150 cars or whatever, so it should be uh, a safe time to go up. Uh, I see there's Border Patrol parked uh, on the hill across and stuff, which from what I read online, there's they're always patrolling this mountain in anyway. Uh, and I also was told or read uh, that Border Patrol flies their helicopters around, so it uh, should be a pretty safe day today. Uh, so let's get out there and get this done. The prize for getting to the top is seeing the 29-foot limestone statue of Jesus Christ. It was dedicated in 1940 and built by Friar Lourdes Costa. When looking out from his window from his house, he decided that it would be a perfect location to erect a monument. In 1933, him and 16 others made the trek to the top. He then preached his vision to his congregation, to which they agreed to help. There was a wooden cross laid at first in February 1934. A metal cross built by the townspeople replaced a wooden cross in March of 1934. It took from September 1938 to the day of pilgrimage on October 29, 1939 to build the monument that stands today. The crown that encircles the monument was built to coincide with the 50th anniversary of the site. This is a very, very cool hike up the hair, the haircut. Pretty easy. Uh, I heard someone at the bottom saying that was the hardest part, which they weren't joking. A little steep at the bottom, but only for a few feet. And the rest of it is just a nice little path that very easy to climb, not tying at all. As you saw a lot of kids on the videos, a lot of older people, so pretty easy. Well, I'm almost to the top, I'm not sure how long it took me. I'll have to check uh, the pictures, the time that I took the first pictures and see what time I reached the top. But uh, I'm not tired, not at all. An easy, very easy hike, uh, super windy, as you can tell by my lovely hair. Uh, but it's, it's amazing views here. As you can see, you can see Mexico. So I'm done with the hike. Uh, I started at 8.49 a.m. and I got to the top around 10.20 a.m. Uh, I think I was moving pretty fast. Uh, I 
it stopped for a lot of pictures, but I still felt like I was moving faster than a kind of enjoyable viewing hike. On the way back down, uh, I left the top around 10.22 and I got to the bottom at 11.08. So, and once again, I was moving pretty, pretty fast uh, coming back down. But overall, a very, very cool hike. Highly recommended. Um, and just like it says online, make sure you do it when there's a lot of people around. Obviously, with it being Easter weekend, there was very tons. Uh, a lot of people uh, were here, uh, as you saw in the video. But uh, I enjoyed it. Good time. Uh, let's get back home.